Hello and welcome back. Today we continue our discussion of trigonometry by discussing the trigonometry of general triangles. So let's get started. In some of the examples, our triangles will be right triangles. Um, but basically what we're doing is we are, this is uh, the introduction, I guess, the, the preliminary topics for the law of sines and the law of cosines. So, basically, um, what do we mean when we talk about similar triangles? Well, by definition, similar triangles will have two qualities. The corresponding angles are congruent, and their corresponding sides are in proportion. Now, when we talk about congruent, we usually mean that uh, it's exactly the same, like one triangle is a duplicate of another triangle. So, in the picture that we have above, we can see that they're both right triangles. The AC is uh, perpendicular to BC. The line DF is perpendicular to the line EF. So, uh, they both have 90 degree angles. That, um, those corresponding angles, those two angles are congruent. But we would need to have all three of the angles to be congruent in order for the triangles to be similar. But here's the deal with triangles. All triangles are 180 degrees. So you don't have to prove that all three angles are congruent. All you need to prove is that two of the angles on these triangles are congruent. And then after you prove that, it's implied that the third ones are because they would have to be. So all you need to do is prove two. So in our question it says a 40 foot flagpole casts a 25 foot shadow. Find the shadow cast by a nearby building 200 feet tall. Well, if the if by nearby building they mean there's a building next to it sitting under the same sun. It's a, you know whatever uh, the angle of elevation is to the sun it's going to be the same. The building is nearby. It's right next to it. Okay, so angle B and angle E on here are going to be the same. We don't know what uh, value those angles are, but we know that it's the same angle because these buildings are right next to each other under the sun. Okay, so remember we talked about before how they were both right triangles? Um, the line AC is perpendicular to BC, forming a right angle. The line DF is perpendicular to EF, forming a right angle. Okay, that's a second congruency. Now, because we have uh, angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C, the 90 degree angle, is congruent to angle F, the other 90 degree angle, we don't need to know anything about A and D because all triangles are uh, 180 degrees, all the angles add up to be 180 degrees, we know by default that the last pair of angles are also congruent. And once we have established they're congruent, we know that they are similar triangles. Similar triangles have a proportion amongst all of their sides. So we can simply set up a proportion problem to find anything that's missing. We want to know the shadow cast uh, by the 200 foot tall building. So we're going to set up a proportion right now in order to do that. So this is what I'm going to do before we put the numbers in. I am going to do a proportion based upon the names of the sides. So the side DF over uh, DF over EF is going to equal AC over BC. And the only reason why this is the case is because these are similar triangles. We just established they were similar when we analyzed the angles. We came to the conclusion that um, they had two congruent angles, which also implies the last set of angles are congruent, which means they're similar, which means that we can use a proportion. So we have D and F, DF over EF 
equals the side AC over the side BC. Okay, so now let's put the numbers in. DF was 200 feet. EF was the unknown shadow cast. And this equals AC, which was 40 feet, over BC, which was the 25 foot shadow on that building. So this is starting to look familiar. Anybody who's been in an algebra class knows that all we need to do now is cross multiply and divide. So we're going to end up with 40x equals 200 times 25, which is 5,000. But <laughs> the five, that five doesn't look too great, but <laughs> it's a five. So what we're going to do is isolate the x by dividing both sides by 40. 40 divided by 40 is 1. That's going to cancel out. And x is going to equal 125 feet. So when you look up here, um, at the diagrams that I drew and you see the triangle on the right which represented the 200 foot building the shadow cast which is uh, where the line EF is the shadow cast is going to be 125 feet so hopefully you can see now how you identify congruent angles determine whether a tri whether two triangles are similar and then use proportions to find the missing side